Hey everybody and welcome to the video series where we're breaking down shots from movies and commercials, talking about cinematography and lighting ideas. You can find a lot of videos about cinematic lighting, breakdowns of movie lighting on this channel. And if you're interested in cinematography and cinematic lighting, consider subscribing. In the last video, we talked about blocking techniques and camera angles in a scene with a lot of actors and extras. We had a great example from the movie Walkery, directed by Brian Singer, with cinematography by Newton Thomas Siegel. In this video, I would like to talk about lighting and contrast ratios in a couple of scenes from this beautifully shot movie. Here is our first scene, and we can see two officers sitting and waiting for a phone call. This is a dark, contrasty scene, and uh, let's take a look at the lighting diagram recreation. It's a pretty simple, yet quite effective setup. We have two practical lamps, giving the motivation for key light and backlighting smoke at the same time. Couple of hard light sources as key from above, just out of frame. This technique is called carrying out a practical. When you see your practical lamps as a motivation and you supplement it uh, with a key sufficient to provide exposure level. To prevent the light from bouncing around, uh, the interior has light colored walls. We use negative fill, black floppies, uh, on the fill side. This gives us a lot of contrast in these shots. And uh, now let's take a look at them in false color to determine the ratios here. As we can see, the key light is at around 50 IRE level, fill side um, is at around 10 IRE, and uh, dividing 50 by 10, uh, we have 5 to 1 contrast ratio between the key side and fill side. Going into medium shots, and of course the ratio is maintained here, that's what differentiates most uh, experienced cinematographers from less experienced ones. Keeping the ratios, uh, contrast ratios in the same ballpark while going to coverage. Again, we can see the key here is around 50 IRE uh, level, fill side is at 10, and the same 5 to 1 ratio between them here. For this person sitting close to the practical, the key side is overall at the same level, uh, 50 IRE, but the highlights go up to 60 IRE. Now let's go to the second scene. Two generals entering the reception room. Uh, look how dark and contrasted it feels here. We start with a light diagram recreation. A large room with a window behind the receptionist. The window has dark curtains blocking the light from spilling everywhere onto walls, thus helping to keep a high level of contrast. We have a small slash opening between two curtains, letting some of the light beam to get in and serve as a key for the entering generals and a kicker for a receptionist in his shots. Look how hard this light is. That's what gives this scene its visual appealing. Practical lights turned on, of course, and we also see lighting fixtures of slightly cooler color temperature uh, being placed to provide some light through the glass of the doors. This part of the room has been kept dark, which makes the scene contrasty. Now let's check some of the shots in false color. The actors moving from the door towards the light source from a window, starting at around 50 IRE for the key, and eventually stopping by the receptionist table at around 60-65 IRE level. While keeping shadows at 10-15 uh, IRE, we have uh, this contrast ratio of 6 to 1 for this scene between the key and shadow areas on the background. 
Uh, this is around two and a half stops of difference. The overall scene is quite dark with the highlights on white papers rarely going above 60-70 IRA. Even window highlights are at 85 IRE, uh, shadows usually at 10, with occasional drops down to 3 and 5. I also like this shot of the receptionist with a hard kick light. The actor's mark had been slightly shifted towards light beam from the window, and now we have this harsh kick -hole. Let's see it uh, in a false color. This hard lit side goes up to 90 IRE, with a fill side at around 10. Alright, that's it for today. Hope it gave you some inspiration to use harder sources when the story calls for it. Hard light power became a bit overlooked these days, but shaping your image with it can give you a lot of three-dimensionality and volume. And while studying images in false color can give you a lot of information about levels and, more important, contrast ratios between different parts of the image. If you're interested to know more about cinematic approach to lighting and would like to keep your cinematography knowledge organized so you have clear ideas on how to prepare lighting setups for your next short film or commercial work, Welcome to check out my mini courses on cinematic lighting for modern filmmakers on www.cinecourses.com. I'm committed to creating a unique piece of content to help everybody interested in getting much more lighting knowledge than you can ever get in a film school in much less time and progress faster as a visual artist. So check it out. You can find many lighting breakdowns and cinematography tutorials on this channel consider subscribing and activating the notification bell so you don't miss out when the next video comes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.